Alrighty, how is it going, folks? Here I am, uh, I'm playing this new game. I'm curious to see how it goes. Um, I'm used, so the game uses a uh, webcam, so this is uh, not quite the, my usual setup. I'm, I'm normally up there and now I'm down here. Um, so yeah, I, I guess we'll see how it goes. I know almost nothing about this game. Uh, I know that you control it with your eyes. And I know that it's about death. Um, and that's all I know. I've been very excited to play this. Um, specifically on stream. So, uh, so yeah, this is, this is gonna be fun. Um, let's see if I can get this going. Okay, it's me. Hi. Okay, looks good to me. It's camera. Uh, it's in track new quality. And your eye blinks to improve your experience. Okay, it does not say shared recording any other way. Um, if you do not have a camera enabled, maybe better. Okay, next. Am I wearing glasses? Yes, right here. Make sure your face is evenly lit and your eyes are visible. Um, I think it's evenly lit and I can certainly see my eyes. It has the box stays green. Maybe if I jog this up slightly. Okay. Thanks, you normally would. There was an extra in there. There were a couple of extras in there. I'm sorry, guys, this probably isn't very fun to watch, but now you're gonna watch me blinking. So many extras. Stop extra detecting. Okay, looks good to me. Got them all. Game starts taking a blink accurately. Press press space bar. Okay, guys, time to not blink. Stranger. <laughs> it's a furry. A real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> That's me. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So, if mm. you understand what I'm saying, and the 
Blink over my hand here. Ooh, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. I am special. See all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. You chose me. You were special. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch. Or, what's a better word? Notion? That's respectful. Having a thesaurus ah. right there. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? Man, this is so weird. He's having motion captured. One. That's where I'm taking you. Me? To see the gatekeeper. To be judged. Do I have to? I'm gonna present your <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be like, the whole story very worth it. Entire life from prow to stern. Now, she's impressed. Wait, I still don't know those two. I only know port and starboard. And you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. And if she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. What what happens to me? <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. I'm so scared. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. Yeah, fuck you, trash birds. Oh, wait, wait. Are these other souls? Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think this is what they call yiffing. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. All right. Your life. You're going to show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. All right, let's fucking so do this. Just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm going to send you there. But understand, oh, no, trauma. no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. All righty then. All righty then. I'm ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. And just try to enjoy it this time. Okay, guys. Let's uh, go back to our, our life. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Hell yeah. Well, I get that. I like it too. We're on the beach. And that must be our mother? some seashells what do you say hell yes I love seashells you see that big spiky plant over there hmm. I thought I see it oh I can't see the tree I'm it's all black and I can't blink don't talk about eyes No blinking, you'll miss it, am I right? Oh, well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. 
where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in the street? No. E. Well, this is awkward. Burp! Burp, no! You're not gonna believe this. Hey, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. Ah! We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great Him. Idea. Oh no, this really was my life. Something. Skinny grows? Guys, do not like this. Also, it's really hard to check chat. What? This is happening. The beat means it's running out. Oh, it hurts. Come on, Dad, you can do it. You can master this technology. I believe in you. Oh, my eyes. Goodbye, memory. <gasps> Hell yeah. And it's January the what? I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Eighth or something. I prefer bass, but you know, I'll take piano. It feels like every fucking mission is a challenge. I just wanna hear her play and I don't wanna like Our mother played piano, and it's gonna be a wonderful time. And I need some water. Can't stream that. Watch the boat. I like the music. That's very specific. That's such a dad I moment. I also like the person <laughs> playing it. I can pop bubbles. Thinking about. I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. Boat. Boat. Is this one smart? No. Uh, so like, alright. pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's one of these. Necessarily. I hate this line of thinking. You know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Fuck. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. You can do it, Mom. I believe in you. Thank you for considering. Gambate, Mama son. Okay, son. It really means a lot. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Listen. Throw it. Hell yeah. Fuck you. Hey. Fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. 
fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. These things, these things take time, you know? Oh, it's not taking it. I'm blinking. Okay. Ooh. See? That used to be my piano. It's cute. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Let his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. Oh. What was his home country? The Soviet Union? Go on. Ugh. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong silent. This is difficult. Can you believe I grew up in the Oh snow? fuck, it's Peggy. I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. Give me that sock. I'm not gonna make me blink. 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 I'm not gonna make me blink.
go to Greece. Mom? Where's Mama? figure out how to play that. Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a goofy kid, but he's brilliant. Hell yeah, I'm brilliant. Let's get him into serious piano. Sure. You know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? The what? I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. Someone who might be up to the task. Very gifted. Richard, no one in this town knows anything. Maybe I'll just have to do it myself. Good idea. I think that's settled. Fuck. Well, Dad got what he wanted. Play with oh, cat. I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Feed me. Feed me, mummy. <gasps> Kitty! I already did. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. We got this. <laughs> Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen oh, look at that. between now and tomorrow morning? No. Oh no. You brat. You bad cat. Bad. The bird kitty. But at least my art's improving. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. Oh, my art's true. definitely improving. Go to your head. Yeah. Please let the cat know it's time to use the litter box, though. Baby mm -hmm. steps. He's not one eye. You gotta help out more, dude. You gotta teach that cat how to use the litter box. Can't go pissing on her work. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Grandpa. Please. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking... I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such luck for me. Fucking hell. Red flag. Red flag. I haven't seen him in over ten years. Can you believe that? Hey, it sounds like you're doing the right thing. Oh, jeez. This is different. This is different.
need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a... There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, I don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? Oh. It may not be interesting at first. Yeah, that's why we played for a little while. Going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Mm. <laughs> Ernie, buddy. Uh oh. Ernie, don't you dare do much. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, what happened to Cat? Saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes Jeff, is that you? Ernie's boy. And you're sure about that? I don't was. Uh huh. And that was a sign. Do you like those things? <laughs> Say that one more time, please. Pee holes. No. <laughs> Ocean green and then the sky red. Have you been able to pick up the new book? Yes. The new Italian is a particular interest. No, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. That was good. It's getting really expensive, right? I know what happened to Jeff. Fuck. Sorry, I gotta recalibrate. Sorry, everyone. Time to see my mug. He's been replaced with me, Wayne mate. No. I hope Jeff's okay. Gremlins. Fuck. I know it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Whoa. See him, Richard? I've been listening to him in that conversation. I'm pretty sure Beethoven's license free. Well, great job, us. Pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Listen, I'm a little bit probably on the spectrum. <laughs> Did I get to a redeemed dance party? That's terrifying. I'm glad that didn't work. Wait, does that mean you need me to dance? Or is that a sound alert that I'm not hearing? It worked. I want that box okay. full by the time I come in there. It's full, Mom. Oh. 
My toys. Have you never seen Toy Story? Cat Jam appeared. I didn't see it, but hey, you know what? I'm glad that you saw it. Chloe, you alright? Coming. Girls, they're scary. Go away. Don't do it. Why are you always out here taking photos? I like you know, them. If you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. I did it. See? Like you asked me to. Oh shoot. I think I gotta go. But, um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't uh. think you'll be able to. But you can try. Got what it. The hell? How did you do that? Because I'm good at what I do. Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. Good work, Agent 47. Target down. Thank you. God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Oh man, they're showing me off. You be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. And not since we were four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. <laughs> no, I mean, what, what's his deal? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. Very cool. Hmm. No one really knows what it means. Mm. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops the dinner party short. Um, mm. Okay, more wine? More wine! I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah, who would ever study archaeology or maritime anything? You guys good? The class is world history. My name is Mr. Ivy. Ooh. The class will be broken up into hey, you. Who would ever study, right? Dropout squad! Dear weird neighbor kid. Please keep in mind that while we're, oh, we are in the same class, what a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we do not know each other. Do not talk to me ever. Love, Chloe. Write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off into space. Uh. Now it's time to go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Cover for her. Cover for her. You were too. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I prefer you to Fuck, I'd look away. Fuck. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half the best he bought it for himself. Yo, Chloe, how's it going? How's your mom? Remember that time we played footsie outside? I'm 11 now! And I got, what, a Super Nintendo? An Xbox? Yeah, I guess it's an Xbox. Gone Wester. A new contestant has approached. Ooh. Is that a Nintendo 64? Well, I don't know. It looks like an Xbox controller to me, but... Oh, sure. We sit together 
in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. That's me. I'm old Benny. Thank you for playing this game with him. Dad should thank me for hanging out with you. I have a lot of friends. Very interesting detail. Listen, Chloe, don't be so hard on me. Fuck! It's called a magic school. Ooh. It's about an hour away in a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in. My son is such a loser. Please take him. I'll pay you. He's such a leech on our finances. In that sort of an environment. Sorry, hey. it's very sad. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Oh, jeez, I do not like this. I don't like this at all. Walmart use K indeed. They want me to play As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly. Mom, you are fucking the same yet for failure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. I'd just like to see you really rise to the occasion. Just this one. Just this once. I wish I Come had on, the option dude. of going to a school like that when I was your age. I've been doing my I'm best. Working this boring job or living in this boring town. Listen, you can't you live your life through me. What was that? Was that the thief? Haha, <laughs> sucker! What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Oh boy, remember today is the first day of the rest of your life. I do not like this. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Mm, no, I think I'll talk to my friend now. Oh, I wanted to talk to Chloe. Chloe, can I offer you a bog off deal? How about my son and my wife? Both are the scum of the earth. What is she obsessed with you? So listen, I found a concert. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Oh fuck, I skipped it again. Ah A newbies in the presence of my art, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. So I chose Greece at the beginning. I wonder if it would be different if I chose unworthy? Egypt. When will you learn that your blinks have consequences? Ugly fur ball under the that your actions have consequences! Hey, Chloe. That's in the body of the hippopotamus. Though I would not say that to her face. Now, as you can see, she is she ready to get a picture of me behind the coast of the Why is he so scared to see me? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better just pick up my call soon. I'll try my best. My mom's gonna fucking kill me, though. She wants me to, like, work on my music and stuff. Like, I am some sort of nerd. Okay, see you next memory. Slightly worried I had you in change school just as you started to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here and is for fuck's sake, don't blink. Him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. This boy. Benny has a chance here. A real chance to Mom, stop living your fucking dreams through me. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, you're so sweet. If you look closely, you can see Echo in the reflection. Oh, 
I wish I'd never gotten to music. Mum is savage. Right, chat. It's time to rise up and take down our mother. Down with mother! Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Hell yeah. Well, but maybe you should be. If Bluey has taught me one thing, and it's taught me many, it's that this woman is not doing the good parenting right now. Move for your mum. It's pretty funny. Good night. Sneak out. <laughs> Fuck you, Mom. Wow. Didn't think you'd actually pick up. I mistook you for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in two minutes now, okay? The yard would be a more warm sleeping place than in bed beside you, you witch. <laughs> you know, I'm really glad. Damn, you're Rachel. Here. I'm in bed. Damn. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I don't know who Rachel is. Or to get off my chest. You're okay. killing it, dude. Mm, What's I up, Chloe? I don't think Conquistos is actually your real legit <gasps> name. My cousin, Yoon, he was in town this weekend. And he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. Hmm. He calls it a khaki rap. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. Right, it's cute. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Once again, you can see echo in the reflection of my TV the right there. Is the tomato, but you think that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school. But I also like hanging out with you the most. Hell yeah. Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot. Which is weird because after what happened with my mom. Beg, deal with it. Talking. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Mm. <gasps> Look at the stars. No, I don't want to let it go. I can't see it, guys. I can't read it in time. T A E E. He. Is it going to be stay here? It's gonna be stay here, you guys. Okay, Peg, well, I guess you're gonna have to buy channel, uh, buy those spots now. Stay here. Hmm, Chloe. But unfortunately, all good things must come to an end.
I do not want to deal with mum tomorrow, but I'm going to do it eventually. Goodbye, Chloe. Probably didn't sleep at all, out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very Wish me luck, you guys. I can do this. I can do this. I've been practicing. Are you proud of me, Mom? Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice? Are you proud of me, Mom? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to a snowy music school. I want to live my life. You did. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. I just want to be a kid. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. Hey, great job, Peg. I would have done it if I could have. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? Oh jeez, what's wrong with us? What are they saying about me? What's wrong with me? This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Having him home alone is like his son's kind of thing, you know? We could focus him, I'm sure This is jibing me all the Yoli vibes and I hate it. Please try to sleep a little softer. I've never seen Roma in April. Where's Chloe? The F is wrong with you. Bit of love I may have not seen, remember? You can't watch every anime out there. This isn't video. Try me, Bish. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Which means you want me to play more music. My little toy boat. I love this little guy. Zoom zoom. Zoom 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 zoom.
so um, you're so busy fucking paying attention to my music. You can't see how good my drawings are. Look at this. Look at this. That's great. No, I'm drawing. Ooh, watercolors. Hyperfixation! Woo! Big W. Whoa! Look at that! Oh no, they're gonna do it again, aren't they? They're gonna do it again. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. <sighs> okay. I'm very proud of me, but like, these helicopter parents, these helicopter parents need to stop! Stop! I just wanna be a kid. Stop. To learn to be painters. Oh well, at least thing I enjoy. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, I love his accent. It is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Todd. Make art, you ponies. Oh. Hey, what do you call this? For you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Hey, fuck you, dude. Oh, I see. I see. I got a fucking. I got a time it just right. So it actually looks good. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. Where's Jelly? I'm not an artist. This feels weird to me. I don't know if I'm doing well or not. I feel like he's a pedo. He's a pedo, right? I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. Reached down deep within Look at this masterpiece. Created a masterpiece. <sighs> Doesn't feel like a masterpiece, but I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Flynn. I mean, I guess I was a model, but still. Ooh. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of the piece is so sincerely ironic. Peace with the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. Fuck. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I could teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, open the door. Make oh. a living isn't selling out. I've like I all the way gone through school now, huh? What do you think, guys? Do I sign the contract or do I crumple it? I mean, I apparently seem to be enjoying myself. 
I'm gonna sign it. I've got a good feeling about you. I'm gonna hate this. Actually making some money with one's art. Mom! Mother! Loser! I wanna fucking pour this all over her. Stop living your life through me! Where's Chloe? I miss Chloe. What are you going to do with it? Besides buying fancy dinners like this every week, obviously. I'm getting a salad and an appetizer, and I'm already stealing the bread. <sighs> that butter. Oh my gosh, it's in the shape of a swan. Oh my god. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh look, I'm a famous artist now. Love you too. Bye. Hey Ben. Go ahead and pick up this call, okay? I mean it. Expose mummy. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today and well, I'm going to be a little sick for a while. Oh, that's not good. Where's the call? Don't even worry about calling me back. Mom, I want to call you back. Okay. I tried to call. I tried to answer it. Mom. But that's enough from me. Bumpo boy. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Her. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny, you ready to come up here? Oh, fuck. Go on, B. Say something. Oh, I got I'm actually tearing up. It's really hard to get the blinks to register. What's wrong? Oh, hey, Joe. Well, my mom just died. Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again? Look, you know I talk to big, important people. People who could change your life every day. What the hell am I supposed to say? What did you want me to say? Listen, I had problems with my mom, but... Trying to live her life hey. through me. Benny, guess who's calling? Well, here's the call. We're finished. We're done so kaput. It's over. Would you shut the hell up, Tabitha? You tried to fire a client in here. Who? Some washed up stick up his ass. Too good to sell. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you 
No. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And I just find myself breaking down again. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. Yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, she didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. Mm-hmm. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? I want to write her music. I think. I think that's where we're going with this, right? It's very good, like blink too soon, but like I can see her in the You know what, Dad? Oh my life. Is that is that really you? It it's Chloe. <gasps> Chloe the back. Oh my god, I can't believe this. It's been years. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. Uh huh. Yes, please. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Keep going. And your mom. Keep going. To keep it going. I always heard her playing piano from next door. <sighs> I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Uh. Like mother, like son, I guess. <laughs> hey, so not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something. Hell yeah. I'd really love to oh. catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. No, no, I can't go back. Would you look at that? You finally hit the jackpot, Slapjack. With all the nobody, nothing, dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a. Oh, there you are. I realize I would have cleaned up. I just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple of college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe help me out word choice since you know I'm still working on that see if I'm getting all the strokes right the proper composition if you catch my drift <laughs> Forget about it. all right here we go gatekeeper before you stands the soul of a great man now would you describe yourself as a Happy kid or a lonely one? I was lonely. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer? 
or an accountant. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Look, I'm Another sorry. Leader, champion or, or more like a taskmaster. I really want to say she was encouraging, but she was definitely demanding. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she friend. your best friend or your first love? She got me first love. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. He had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you Dumb girl, you lucky bird. You get it? Right. I get it. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. What's wrong? What What's wrong, dude? I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings oh, yeah, good thinking I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one hopefully you won't be seeing him again Jeez, oh man. I'm very nervous. <laughs> now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. It's not on purpose, dude. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But a 
It's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This ain't a schoolyard staring contest. Okay, we're back to the beginning. Back to the earliest memory we have. Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. I'm so nervous because we did. We, the cat just vanished. Come on, keep blinking. I, I I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? You know, my father once told me when I was about your age. This, stay here. Getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. So her dad died. See. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. I assume. And now? She never could. Yeah. Let's keep going. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay. Okay. Mm. Yes. I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Mm. Please don't tell me the cat's dead. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. I'm sorry, Rachel. I'm not worried about who you are, Betty. I'm worried about who you're going to be. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Just Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. This is really hard. I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? Never gonna get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? Mm -hmm. We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. 
I... It's okay. She's asleep. Damn. I see. <sighs> you got sick. You howled at the moon. The top of your mind. Hey, fuck you guys for my cat. Fuck you too, <laughs> for my cat also. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get. Hmm. Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Here's where I pick up the painting. Try writing with it. Or writing? Oh, hey. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Yeah. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. The story of who you're going to become, okay? Oh, so it was all a story. Oh, don't tell me I'm a dead kid. One Direction already did that. It was bad. Please don't tell me I'm a dead kid. No. Oh, no. This is what he was saying earlier. It was me all along. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first read it. love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. You weren't supposed to read that part. We really could have just slept on the beach another night. Oh. Another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. I respect it, I do. Be nice, Chloe. I'm possibly a dead kid. Oh no. You are going to be in there for about 30 oh, minutes. Oh no. So try to get comfortable. Oh no, this isn't good. You're doing great, buddy. Just a 
Bad flashbacks. Knock knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. <laughs> I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Mom, I was kind of mean about you in here. Love your story. She just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. Her childhood was a lonely one, growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, how did you learn to write so well? I did my parents so dirty in here. I didn't think I was gonna read it. Okay. Okay. Love you, buddy. Oh, Dad. Love you too, Dad. No. We Close my door, loser. Dad. Jeez. He was the worst friend to. No, ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. No. In a hospital. So if he's ever, oh, if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. My eyes are closed, you ding dongs. Thank you so much. Oh fuck, I can just dope myself up now, huh? Oh jeez. Hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing. Come on, let me fucking. Hey Chloe. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What? You're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking. 
don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. Wow, Chloe's kind of mean. Oh, geez. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected. And she was having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life at home. Yeah, I guess so. I feared that. Big denial from Chloe. It. Then you played this on the piano. You see her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Okay, I need to recalibrate because it's not having an easy time dealing with the, the eyes staying closed. Sorry guys, you're dealing with my mug. Just my mug again. Okay. Yep. Next. Much like Garrus from Mass Effect 2. I'm doing some calibrations. Got them all. Great. Second, I'm playing for mum. Oh, she's older. Good plan, B. She's listening. the pain. Pain, go away. Give me my drugs. No. Just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Mm. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? Get her a steamy plate. What? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. My God! I can't deal with cat watching me while I die. She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit. I want to hear it. Care to care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting you're just letting that be, letting that be. I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. I'm trying to keep my eyes closed. Oh my god, you're an idiot.
you do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? Don't look up there! Look at me! I'm talking to you! Hmm. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm gonna leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first love. Love, Chloe. <laughs> oh, it's getting hard to move. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again. Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. I can't even push the button yet. Yeah. Give me the drugs. And my sandwich. Oh jeez. I can't even eat. Take my drugs. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay, Betty. I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard. It's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories can they be overrated. I'm okay. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go back. We're doing this! If I had a nickel for every time I cried on stream, it's gonna I would have two nickels. Which is not a lot of money, but it's funny that it's happened twice. Oh, what was three? <laughs> it's gonna be my mom. Oh, it's not gonna be fair. Oh, chili crying counts. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's fucking go, chat. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, it's a cat. Okay, for Gucci. Wish me. <sighs> Got this jump. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. How do I tell my story? You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. 
And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something oh, I no. wrote, which is about the Benny I film for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again, and how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope, how he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten so when he knew he was going to go he was okay because he'd already lived a great life a full life and he was everything he needed to be just as he was Accepts. Close your eyes now. Keep them closed. Why is he smiling like that? She didn't make he must be somewhere that he likes. Oh guys, thanks for tuning in. This has been Before Your Eyes. Prepare to cry edition. I only cried a lot. Ah. Uh. to like let the credits fucking sit for a minute. <sighs> Stroke my dog.
emotional damage. That's right. There he is. With the emotional damage. Me too, buddy. Me too. Oh. I guess I'll have to keep an eye on this dev and just like see what they make next. So this was a, a very, very good game. Um yeah. I had, a, I had a lot of fun. Oh yeah, well, I was gonna skip try and skip players, but no, I'll just I'll just let him sit. We'll just we'll just chill for a second. You know. <sighs> I hope everyone's weekend's been good. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm gonna have a really fucking hard cry sesh after this. You know, for some reason. Ugh. You know what, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end it here. Cause you guys don't wanna see, I wanna see this part. Um, thank you to everyone who tuned in. It's been a hell of a game. Um, and I will, I, I'll see you whenever the next time ends up being, all right? When, whenever that is, okay? I will see you all later and goodbye. Mwah.